What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new speed test. For today we have the LFO New Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So the LFO New Pro is using the Snapdragon 660, we have 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. This device is running Android 8 and we also have a 6 inch screen with a 1080p resolution. Moving on to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, so this device is using the Snapdragon 835 and this is a faster CPU that's paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Unfortunately the S8 Plus is still running Android 7.1 and um, just to be fair I dropped the screen resolution on the S8 Plus to 1080p so it can match the resolution from the LFO New Pro. Throughout this video we are gonna check out and see which device has a faster fingerprint scanner, we are also gonna check out the benchmark results and after that we are gonna start opening the exact same apps at the exact same time so we can see which device opens apps faster. Once that's done we are also gonna check out and see what happened to those apps running in the background, so we'll check out the RAM management on both devices. So on the Antutu benchmark and the Geekbench 4 the S8 Plus gets higher scores but that's kind of normal because we have a faster CPU and a better GPU. But um, the difference in between scores for the Geekbench 4 it's not that high. Alright so we are gonna start by checking out and see which device has a faster fingerprint scanner. So I'm gonna lock both screens and I'll try touching the fingerprint scanners at the exact same time. So let's try doing this. And let me slow that down for you. And it looks like the Samsung Galaxy S8 was faster for that one. So I'm gonna try doing the exact same test one more time just in case I didn't press the fingerprint scanners at the same time or anything like that. So I'm gonna lock both screens again and I'll try touching the fingerprint scanners at the same time again. Let me slow that down for you. And it looks like the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus was faster once again. And we are moving on to our next test. So first of all I'm gonna show you that I don't have any apps running in the background for either device and both devices are connected to the exact same um, Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna start opening the exact same apps at the exact same time. So we're gonna start with Chrome. So very similar times and this one was actually faster at loading. We're gonna leave that app running in the background and next we have GTA San Andreas. So the Elephone um, was a bit faster but we'll see which device starts the game faster. So let's select a new game on both. And we're still waiting for the S8, oh wow. So the Elephone uh, U Pro is faster at that uh, than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So we're just gonna wait till this one starts the game as well. And we'll leave the game running in the background on both devices. Next we're gonna open Google Photos on both. So very similar opening times but I believe this one loaded the, the content a bit sooner. Next we're gonna open the Facebook app. So very very similar um, time but this one was able to load the content uh, much faster than this one. So leave that one running in the background as well and we're moving on to Twitter. So this one was faster um, for this one so even though we have a faster CPU for the S8 Plus the LFO New Pro is faster on a few occasions. Next we have Instagram. So once again this one was um, faster. So let's go ahead and open um, a picture here, let's open this one. So very similar um, times for opening, we'll leave that one running in the background. And next we have Traffic Rider on both. So a bit faster on the Elephone once again. Yeah, so definitely faster on that one. So let's press next, next, and I guess we'll start um, that game. So we'll leave that game running in the background for both devices. Next we're gonna open this app. So kind of in the same time but maybe the elephone was a bit faster at that one. We'll just open this picture. So once again faster on the elephone for that app. Next we're gonna open the Play Store. 
And once again, the LFO New Pro was faster than the S8 Plus. And the last app we're gonna open is the YouTube app. So I think this one uh, loaded the app faster, but the um, LFO loaded the content um, faster. So we'll um, start the exact same video on both. So once again, it started a bit sooner on the LFO. So leave that one running in the background as well. So now I wanna see what happened to all those apps that we have running in the background. So let's go all the way to Chrome. So still running in the background for both devices, that's great. Next we have GTA San Andreas. So if we press resume in the exact same spot um, where we left them. Next we have Google Photos. So um, in the exact same spot um, where we left it. And we have the Facebook app. So the exact same thing as before. And on Twitter, same thing as before. Instagram is next. So they both have um, those apps running in the background. Next we have Traffic Rider on both. So in the exact same spot um, where we left them. And let's uh, continue. So in the exact same spot. And the last one we're gonna try is the Play Store. So the exact same um, spot as before. So there you have it, the LFO New Pro, it's faster than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. This phone is about $450 and this one is about $800 and this one has a faster um, processor as well. So uh, just in case you're wondering, the LFO New Pro, it's not a slow device. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.